friends, and welcome to Beverly's Island with a chicken garlic pizza review. Let's get this in the oven. Okay, this is my pizza pan, and this is my frozen pizza. I found a better way to fold the them around them. We'll find out whether this is a rising crust pizza or not. But this is our chicken garlic spinach pizza. Now let's hope it does what I asked it. Let's hope it does what I hope it will do. Look at that. Into a 360 degree oven for about 20 minutes. Look at that, Howie. Slid right off. Boom. Just the way I designed it. The dough I made for these pizzas for the freezer could have, e could have easily made four pizza crusts instead of three. I still, even if I'd done four, I probably still could have stuffed the crust. I think these are going to be too big, you know that, for just the two of us. That's a lot of crust. Now we like garlic dipping sauce just for dipping the crust in or dipping your pizza in. This is not a really cheesy pizza, folks. Uh-oh, I'm going to break this up a bit. A little bit of dipping sauce for the crust. Yes, my dipping sauce is a little bit on the runny side because I put in too much lemon juice. Bite it first before yeah. you try the dipping sauce. Yeah. Now, okay, what? Oh, okay, but I was going to ask you what. Um, now, That's good. these pizzas, are they comparable to the really expensive ones that we buy when I want chicken pizza? Yep. This is better or as good as? Oh, as good, if not better. Okay, those other pizzas are 30 bucks. That one's five. Awesome. Even better. <laughs> yeah, thank you, dear. Okay, now here's the end of the video. Because after I got off of camera, I asked him why he hesitated. Howie is not a fan of low cheese, low sauce pizzas. That's my favorite style of pizza, not his. But he said all it needed was a little bit more mozzarella. Plus the fact that we actually got two meals out of it. Two suppers, because two nights later, after I had put the leftover pieces in the fridge wrapped in foil, and then two nights later, I actually added a little bit of mozzarella on top and popped them into the new wave oven, and booyah, it was absolutely perfect. So I, if you like a cheesier pizza, do add some mozzarella, but don't forget to put the Parmesan on too, because it's a big part of the flavor. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying then that is our $5 chicken spinach garlic pizza. Twice as healthy as anything you'll buy in the store and probably a quarter of what you would pay from an actual pizzeria. So win-win. Take care. God bless.